Hi, today's recipe is about the interesting secret behind the crispy french fries. How can we get this kind of crunchy and crispy from outside and soft and well done from inside? There is some uh, tips and secrets and recipes that supposed to explain the process. So I collected all the possible solutions and steps and I did some kind of experiment in my kitchen. If you would like to join me, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to receive all the notification in the future. So for now, I knew that we should uh, peel the potato like you can see in the video and then I washed them very well. And I'm gonna start to cut them without rinsing them in water or just soaking them in water after that some of uh, chefs said you should like wash the uh, excess starch out of them i didn't i just wash before cutting and now i'm trying to cut and to get the perfect and the same sized cuts and for uh, frying these potato we should first get the oil at 300 degrees and fortunately I have the deep fryer at my kitchen and I can use it as you can see there is a thermometer inside this fryer so I just started the oil on the heat 300 degrees Fahrenheit when this green light will switch off the oil will be ready I didn't put any salt on the potato for now and also they said keep the potato like a few pieces in the rack or inside the fryer don't uh, make it like crowded because you don't want to lower the oil temperature and I agree totally with this uh, school or theory so I just put the potato inside the oil at 300 for two and or three minutes maximum to get just the potato like cooked from inside we at this point we don't want the potato to be crispy from outside or golden we just want to cook the inside of the pieces after two to three minutes i just lift it up and i'm gonna drain the excess oil out of it i'll put it over a uh, kitchen towels maybe or just some rack uh, meanwhile i'm gonna raise the temperature of the oil to 350 degrees to refry these pieces at this point you want to, if you want to just season the potato some salt and pepper to do that or you can wait till we are done with the frying for the next step and you can uh, do the seasoning after all it's up to you there is no difference uh, I, I tried both ways and I got the same exact result regarding the salt so now i'm refrying the potato again after the oil is ready 350 degree also um like around three minutes or so uh, only to get the outside of the potato this time golden to the color as you can see now this is the wanted color it's supposed to be super crunchy for now and that's true for only five minutes and that was the problem so after five minutes it lost everything the crunchy the crispy texture from outside it's all now oily and soft it's not that savory why so what is the secret to get that kind of potato this recipe with the different kinds of potato that I found in the local grocery stores and I really found that it is very important to choose the right kind of this vegetable in order to get the most crispy French fries. Some of the potato vegetables are very rich in the starch and low in moisture and that is the wanted one to get the french fries like the restaurant style otherwise some other kinds maybe for mashed potato it's like uh, less in the starch and very high in moisture or water so if we choose the uh, right type of this potatoes we can get the most delicious french fries even if we just put some oil in a pan on the stove and just 
um, toast the potatoes and without any thermometer or without any certain degrees that was my experiment i hope that you will find this very useful for you that french fries is a magical food everyone loves it even though it was like oily and soft my kids always eat the whole thing before even i have the chance to get one photo thank you for watching i'll see you next time bye bye